about 70% of patient care relies on a pathology diagnosis. It's the cornerstone of medicine. It has a chance to change patients' lives. Um, even the most horrible disease is beautiful under the microscope. So I think we get a chance to delve into the physiology and really see things at the cellular level. I'm kind of unusual because I do see patients. People don't always think of pathologists seeing patients, but I actually get to treat them as well as diagnose. I'm constantly out in the hallway talking to people, really being out and about to partner in patient care. Pathology in general, people don't understand that, that uh, people picture someone isolated in a laboratory. And especially for women, it's a great work-life balance because we have the luxury of time. I'm pretty fortunate. I think pathology is very open to women. As a matter of fact, it's probably about 50-50 now. Pathology is one of the better fields for women in leadership. About 22% of pathology chairs are currently women, but still that's 22%, and that's considered good compared to other specialties. So one of the reasons I even chose to do this was to show my female residents that someday leadership could be within their grasp too. And I asked myself, why not me? I think in leadership, there's a big difference between uh, sponsorship and mentorship. It's great to get advice and pick people's brains at a different level, but sponsorship is different. That means putting opportunities in someone's path. So I definitely try to do that for my residents and now my faculty. Get out and network and be involved in professional societies, committees, national organizations, because a lot of those organizations actually shape advocacy efforts and shape policy. So it's a good chance to get out there and publish and do meaningful things for the profession and help the pipeline for future pathologists. I've sought leadership for impact, not power. I think there's a big difference between the two. I really wanted to make an impact on my fields, and I never originally aspired to academic leadership. I'm trying to put my department in a good position for success for the future. And it gives me a chance to build something that will outlast me, which is a good feeling. I, I believe in legacy. 